Hi everybody and welcome on board this 1999 Seawood 23 for a look around her interior, cockpit and down below in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? Well that means you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking. All you need to do is, is swipe your screen or click and drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around to your heart's content. How cool is that? Hopefully you'll be able to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. Do excuse me, it's a very hot day today so I might have the odd dab and uh, also, when the camera is moved, some people are a bit sensitive to the movement, so if that may be you, I'll let you know when I'm going to move the camera so you can avert your eyes, and when the camera is safely back down again, I will let you know again, and you can return to the tour with me, but let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are on this, I have to say, one of the most immaculate boats I've seen in nearly 10 years of brokerage. She is just stunning. She's been so well looked after. Current owners have had it for uh, 20 years, and... Uh, in the cockpit, as you can see, we've got the, the cockpit tent above us. Um, I'm five foot nine, well over six feet here. There's a good headroom absolutely everywhere. The sides roll up, as you can see here. The back rolls up, as you can see here. So we can get the wind through our hair if we want to. We can take it all down, or we can have it all up, giving us that extra room in the winter, or the sun, or the rain, or the wind, etc. cetera. Uh, but also uh, helping to look after anything, everything inside the cockpit too. Really, really lovely and a great feature. Um, lots of space here. Loads of access down to the build underneath, there are lockers all over the place, two lockers in the sides here, um, lockers in the floor, access to the build etc, really lovely. At the very back we've got the bench seat that runs all the way thwart ships. There is a small bathing platform out of the stern as well that folds up to reduce your LOA for those marina fees etc. Um, and uh, we have a big bench locker underneath here, or a lazarette sorry, in here we've got the battery isolators, we've got the steering gear, all the, all the bits and pieces, um, and uh, generally speaking a very nice area to be. Now these, um, these big boxes here are basically the engine rooms and they are very heavy actually but uh, they're hinged at the back we can take the seats off to reduce the weight if you want to put them to one side lift them up and you've got brilliant access to both of the Yanmar uh, the four-cylinder diesels underneath and I think any engineer including myself uh, would uh, really thank you for having that access to the engines of course on the actual uh, seats themselves we've got uh, uh, sorry on the the uh, the block the boxes themselves we've got uh, little seats here facing stern we've got the uh, the main helm seat the the first mate seat etc and uh, yeah uh, just one thing to note uh, this uh, this owner love it uh, we've got some anti-condensation heaters down below and uh, we've got some tailor-made blocks which you may or may not be able to see down here just to lift the blocks up by the boxes up by a couple of inches to allow air to circulate to keep warm to prevent the condensation signs of a conscientious and caring owner everybody always a good thing very nice little tip. So uh, moving forwards, we've got the two lovely seats. This one on the starboard side for the first mate, you've got yourself a small navigation area there. Very deep box locker here with the uh, dividers for all your uh, charts and bits and pieces. We've got nice big side windows, nice big front windows, so good all round view. So great for navigation, rule five of coral regs, which we all know, I'm sure. And um, really uh, just letting lots of light, in, uh, light and ventilation in too, fantastic. We have got handholds as we're uh, Moving ourselves around, we have handholds down here as well, and uh, one above the companionway, which is lovely. And uh, we have a gas locker down here as well. No gas on this boat at the moment, although everything is there for the gas system, but no gas bottles, just a safety thing from the owner, which is great. And uh, as we come under the uh, under the headlining here, again, uh, well over six feet here, I think, so uh, all padded as well, very nice indeed. And uh, if we move over to the helms area, we've got uh, the wheel steering, we've got the autopilot, we have got a really nice rudder angle indicator, always useful on a boat of this type. Twin throttles, brand new uh, VHF, uh, we've got uh, depth and speed here, we've got uh, all sorts of electrical switches, electrical switches, and uh, the port and starboard engine, instrumentation we've got uh, oil pressure we've got coolant temperature we've got uh, the hour indicator alarms and warnings and of course the taco so everything you need there to uh, monitor those donks underneath the boxes so absolutely fantastic really lovely area totally clean really really lovely she's been very well looked after oh, i didn't mention as well of course we have the plotter radar up here a small clock and the compass is sitting under this nice little cover there too and we have two nice new little stainless steel wipers as well which is a uh, just uh, seals the deal for me absolutely lovely so let's pick you up for the first time and uh, we'll take you down below bit of a stoop to get underneath and uh, what i'll do is i will just i'll just place you there because i think you'll get a good view of everything from there 
bit of a dab because it's really hot, although it's warmer down here. We're in this uh, compartment, so I'm five foot uh, nine. You can see I'm stooping a little bit, so we're probably about uh, five foot seven down here, maybe. But once we're in here, we're sitting down. Loads of room, very nice and light down here. We've got uh, we've got five portholes down here, one in there. All the portholes open up and uh, hook back with these. We have little covers for all of the portholes too. Very nice indeed if you're sleeping down here. Really nice uh, interior. We've got the carpet type of lining here. We've got nice upholstery. We've got nice carpet, nice upholstery here too. It's all nice in here. Like it, like it, like it. Underneath here we've got some storage. There'll be some more under there, no doubt. Uh, we have an infill here so we can make ourselves a nice large double if you want and these are the two anti-condensation heaters that were fitted to uh, make sure that this area stays nice uh, when it's cold wet and damp or wintry outside and also through to the engines you can probably see the front of that box there is just raised up with a special block for the circulation brilliant idea and something i should be taking forwards we have sockets we have two 40 volts uh, all over the place which is great nice uh, bookshelf here feeling fantastic the galley itself you won't be able to see the cooker but uh, this opens up so we've got a nice uh, stainless lined uh, area here so we can be chopping cooking preparing etc uh, a little stove here with two burners uh, i think we have a grill underneath too and then if you close that flap and open this flap we can have them both open at the same time if you want we have a small sink in there photos elsewhere in the advert everybody don't worry and also in the video no worries at all with the pressurized cold water too cupboards underneath smells great down here looks great and uh, in fact a lot of this boat you wouldn't realize it's not new to be fair um, so yeah that's how I feel okay let's pick you up again I'll just close the main companionway door open the heads door and I'll pick you up here we go and I'll just place you let's see if we can balance you on the edge there without falling over we can, lovely. Um, quite a small compartment, but how big do you really need it? Um, great, plenty of room for sitting down. Standing up is a bit of a stoop for most gents. We've got access for the uh, uh, the electrics, the wheel, bits and pieces behind there, or, or the uh, dials, gauges, etc. This is the infill for the uh, forward cabin here. Excuse the dab, there we go. Um, and we've got the head here and the sink on the outboard side um, just for use. And. Uh, this toilet has never been used since it's been installed, so uh, never ever used, which is amazing. So it's completely, effectively new. Lovely. Right then, let's pick you up for the last time. And I'll just close the door to the heads. Open the door up to the cockpit and I'll place you on top there so you can see everything. And I'll just sum up by saying this has been Tim from Boatshed Job Brokers taking you for a tour of this immaculate Seawood 23. She's a lovely boat. She uh, feels really solid and stern and I'm sure there's many years of fun or fishing left in her. But uh, thank you for joining me. If you like tours of boats do visit our YouTube channel where you'll find lots more tours of everything from the tiniest fishing boat to the most the poshest and most expensive boats in Brighton and Eastbourne Marinas. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you again soon. Cheerio.